Hi folks, we've got a uh, 2 megapixel infrared zoom camera here that I'm investigating why it stopped working. This is just one I had on test. Pretty cheap, about two, three hundred bucks. A um, lot of performance for a little price, but uh, you get what you pay for. This lasted about roughly six months before it started playing up. It actually was uh, playing up from day one actually with uh, forget, forgetting what you put in the menus and things like this which is very annoying but uh, I'll go through the bits and pieces with you um, the main body of the camera has got two motors in the back which pans and tilts which is uh, quite good and also the, the bonus of this one is it doesn't look like a pan tilt camera so you can put it somewhere and you can uh, sneak a left and a right and a zoom it's quite good so uh, main components, front lens, this is the PoE board. This, uh, as it says, is the 802AF AT converter board. This converts PoE to uh, probably 12 volts and 5 volts for its brains. Uh, you've got the infrared board here, the four LEDs. Um, you've got two flood when you're up quite close like uh, five meters plus and these two puppies here activate when you're in zoom mode like uh, I think you go over six or seven times zoom it'll they'll turn on they're quite effective actually uh, not too bad it looks like it uses a primitive uh, constant current driver but uh, still works quite good it's got an aluminium circuit board which is quite impressive uh, this board I'll give uh, nine out of ten that's uh, pretty good one out of ten is this extremely thin rubber seal with slurm and dust all over it so uh, you've got to be careful there these cameras that that seal goes against there it seemed to work okay actually but uh, your valuable camera is only one water drop away from total destruction it came with one silica bag so I stuck in uh, a whole bunch down the back there and that's kept it dry um, now the main module, which is this camera unit, um, just here where my thumb is, that's the SD card. Now you have to take the whole camera apart to put an SD camera in it, or SD card in it, which is pretty pretty shit actually because this seal is extremely difficult to get on here. It's uh, it'll take you about half an hour of stuffing around to actually get it to work. And not pinch and be sealed properly and also too is the this ribbon cables in the way but you can weasel it in there um, some point to note uh, when I got it there was a thumbprint on the lens thank you very much for that it wasn't me uh, this ribbon cable which is probably the CCD sensor brains it's all straight now but it was all uh, bashed in you can still see a bit of it there so it's obviously done by hand um, pretty shit the alignment of the whole unit I'll, you'll see here see that capacitor down here just here when you put it in this whole thing moves and the top of the circuit board hits that capacitor uh, that's pretty pretty shit as is uh, the grind marks on the metalwork there nice job uh, the reason why I think this failed, besides the this uh, conductive bit of uh, spongy stuff here, it's got the main processor underneath it, and it could have possibly just burnt out. Don't know. This this style pad usually goes against metal to keep something cool, and uh, this particular one has nothing because this board here sits on top, and there's an air gap, as you can see. Uh, so that's, that could be why it blew up, I don't know. But I think the main reason why it probably blew up, there's, there's four standoffs. Uh, one, two, three, four. And when I first got it, this one here was so loose there was a screw rattling around here. Uh, I managed to get that out before I turned it on and uh, I think I saved it from destruction. But as I took it apart today, all these ones here were loose and the 
and the screw heads which are uh, let me show you the screw heads in here were loose so they were contacting things underneath thank you very much so a built-in self-destruction system once these uh, puppies are loose it was loose like this as you can see self-destruction is imminent uh, the rest of the camera is not too bad uh, besides the shonky workmanship but uh, everything checks out I've checked the uh, IR board that seems to work it's all fine I checked the volts on that with a proper PoE injector and uh, it's, it's all good uh, I tried the 12 volts it actually comes with um, uh, three connectors you've got your uh, Ethernet here Oh, four connectors, sorry. Got DC power here if you want to power it. Uh, and it's got a bunch of connectors for uh, I.O., uh, you know, microphones and inputs and outputs and stuff like that. Um, so anyway, that's uh, that's it. There's nothing I can do. It's uh, blown up. That works, that works. That does not work. Um, it, Ethernet does come up. I've got uh, up here, as you can see, I've got Wireshark uh, running and uh, the Ethernet does actually come up so it's half working but unfortunately uh, that's it anyway I'll be putting this in a in a box for maybe a rainy day when I'm really bored I'll copy this later